While economic forecasters debate when the next downturn will hit, the pressing question for business leaders isn't when, it's how to prepare for the next recession. To help answer that question, let's look at a group of companies we've dubbed the Resilience. The Resilience managed to not just survive, but thrive during the last downturn. They returned at least 9% more in total returns to shareholders than their industry peers. So how did they do it? Firstly, they reduced operating costs ahead of the downturn. This meant they brought far more cash to the battle. When the upswing began, the resilience used this cash to acquire the assets their industry peers were dumping in fire sales. Next, they focused on preserving their growth engine to fuel post-recession organic growth. Their industry peers, on the other hand, made indiscriminate cuts across the board, limiting or delaying their ability to reignite their growth. These lessons are enduring, but all recessions are different. We believe the next generation of resilience will be further along in their digital journeys and rely on the following playbook. They will capitalise on tech-enabled operations to get more from their assets, allocate resources more effectively and improve their planning and budgeting processes. They will explore agile ways of working, deploying experts where and when they are needed. They will maintain customer loyalty, particularly in segments that are likely to be high growth after the recession. And finally, they will explore divestitures ahead of any downturn and use M&A during the upswing to generate growth and build capabilities. Companies that pull ahead of their peers, even slightly during downturns, gain an advantage that's tough to reverse when the economy picks up again. And while the debate about when continues among economic forecasters, one thing is clear, companies that move early tend to win.